We're getting Congressman Will Hurd on our KTSA Window World Newsmaker line right now. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. Good evening to you. Hey, good evening, Van Jack. Sorry, I'm, I'm. We're in a long vote series right now, so so we're in a we're in a seven minute break. So I'm gonna for I'm gonna be time, real Jack. quick with you, and I appreciate that. And you just jump off when you need to. Uh, how did you vote tonight on this um, this impeachment resolution? Well, it, we voted to table it. So all the Republicans, and I think about ninety five ish. <laughs> Um, uh, Democrats joined in tabling the articles of impeachment. So there's going to be no further votes on that um, tonight. Do, how, how do you feel about impeaching oh, 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 oh. Donald Trump? Look, there is uh, – we haven't heard from uh, um, Bob Mueller. Uh, Bob Mueller was supposed to he, – he didn't say whether a crime was committed – um, you know, whether whoever, you know, there's different opinions on his tweets, you know, whether you, however you feel about those tweets, that's not an, that's not a reason uh, to impeach a president and go against an election. I don't think there is anything out there uh, that suggests that um, there is there is a high crime or a mm-hmm. misdemeanor um, based on, on what we've seen. I, I think also a, a political this will be a political dog and pony show for the next 15 months that continues to prevent us from actually doing work. And, and mm-hmm. so I don't think impeachment is, is makes sense. And uh, to be frank, I think, um, you know, the people that make that decision, Nancy Pelosi, I don't think she wants to see uh, impeachment either. As concisely as I can, I want to say that, uh, you know, you're, you're a great American. You've served our country in the CIA. You've seen a lot of the world. You know as well or better than most people that this country has something very special and that the people of this country do not want to emulate the failed systems of socialism and tyranny that you've seen up close all around the world. I believe Trump was calling that out and was calling those four congressmen out for, on the one hand, claiming to love this country, but clearly wanting to fundamentally transform it into something we don't want it to be. Why do you condemn those tweets? So, so, so I would agree with a, a, a good portion of that. But when you say to, for someone to go back to their country, right, that's the equivalent of the hundreds of times I've had people tell me to go back to Africa, right? I'm not from Africa. I've never been to Africa. Uh, and, and that's the issue. And, and also it takes us away from getting to those points that you're talking about, right? Those, those four do actually believe in socialism and think that's the solution to our problem. Those are the things we should be talking about. They want to take away our health care, right? They want to take away private insurance. That's what we should be talking well, about. Well, then that's what they you should think... be condemning, not the president who is, who is making <laughs> them the face of the Democratic Party. Well, well, no. Look, I look. I have condemned them. Look, uh, 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 one of them, I, I forget who, made some incredibly um, anti-Semitic Semitic statements uh, a number of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, and and they did not move swiftly um, to to deal with that. And I've I've spoken up uh, against that as well, right? And so so you can you can disagree with the uh, the the content the the the, the way. Uh, the tweets are worded. You can disagree with the people that that was about, and and that's what I want to okay. make sure we keep the conversation. So really, the about, go right? back so, the go back line was the line that 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 for, for sure, yeah, okay. because because that is that that is an old you know racist trope that has been used. And but you do realize that he like, said you do realize that he said go back to those countries. Try it out and then come back here and show us how well it worked. So he actually said, "Go, go, try that out and then come back." Uh, look, I, I think we're that, that, that's a that's a that's a generous paraphrase. Right? That is what he said. Um, that is that is, but but the, this this takes away. So instead, we've been spending this week talking about whether Republicans are racist or not, right? And obviously, you know my opinion on that. And where it's taken us away. From talking about, look, I want for the next 15 or 18 months, however long it is between now and the election, to be talking about the the, the battle between socialism and and democracy and and free enterprise and free markets, right? If the conversation is about that, we are going to win because because not only do Republicans believe that, but independents and and what I would call soft Democrats, these are you know let's call them conservative Democrats. 
They agree with us on that, and that's our opportunity to get that message and, 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 and to, to those folks. Yeah. And, and, Jack, you know I'm in communities that Republicans do not show up to. That's why I continue to win in a district that has been consistently won uh, above the ballot on, on the upper – you know, the, the Senate race, the presidential race by Democrats. I'm able to win because I go to these communities – and I take a conservative message to them, and that's how we're going to grow the party, to make sure that we stay in power, that we have 3.6 percent unemployment, uh, that we're able to make sure we get to make the decisions on no. our health care, not, not the government. I know that you have to so, go back. So, so I know that you have to go back to the floor, Congressman, and, and I appreciate what you're saying. But in voting for this resolution, you lent your name to the idea that those words go back were the most important words in this tweet. You've just told me all the things that really matter, but that isn't how this vote and your participation in it is being interpreted. And by the way, not, not only in the national media, but it's not how it's being received by people talking about it in this community. Well, it, uh, so, so some in the community, you, you can't say that it's the entire community, and that, and that's why I've put out my message on, on why I voted the way I did. That's why I'm, I'm talking to you, because, shocker, my words are being, are being distorted. But at the end of the day, um, I believe that part about go back, right? And, and you can talk to I, – I, Jack, has anybody ever told you to go back to a certain Absolutely. country because of the way you look? Yes. Okay. Well, then you have that experience that, that many people within uh, the minority communities ha have to deal with. But that you know what? Itself, if people right? tell me that because – like I came here from the northeast to Texas, and if I started telling Texans, hey, you should root for the Patriots and the Red Sox and you should like baked beans and, 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 and all yeah, this yeah. stuff, if I tried to change Texas, they'd be right to tell me to go back. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, and, and well. when you come to this country or you, you take office in this country and from a leadership position you try to transform it, I, I think you're going to be called out. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. So uh, uh, America is a great country. We have become an exceptional country because we are, are based on an idea that you can transcend the circumstances of your birth. No other country in the world and no other previous country has ever been built on that. That's why this experiment that we called America has worked and continue to work. And guess what? It's okay to disagree. And, 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 and I'm going to continue to say, you know, agree when I agree and disagree when I disagree. But also we need to make sure in order for us to stay in power, to continue to make sure our communities, our, our, our economy thrives, to make sure our kids are ready for jobs that don't exist, to make sure that mm -hmm. we're continuing to be, to be, to be, to, to put ISIS on the run. In order for us to continue to do that, we got to make sure that we're growing people to our ideas in, in, in our party. Okay. And that's what I have been committed to do. Uh, Jake, Jack, Jack, thanks for letting me uh, come on. I got, I'm about to miss this vote. No, um, go back and do it for sure. And you're welcome anytime, Congressman. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right, Take care. Bye-bye. I appreciate him coming on. I know that not everyone's going to agree with, with that explanation or interpretation. Um, and I have a lot of problems with it, but I'll give him a lot of credit for jumping off the House floor and calling in and spending some time with us. 455 on 550 KTSA and 1071. All right. Uh, did Will Hurd explain that vote to you in a way that made sense? Are you satisfied? Do you want more? Are you uh, not not liking it? Jan is on KTSA. Hi, Jan. Hi. Uh, did his trigger phrase or anything, and Trump did his trigger phrase, and I like how you pressed him because he wasn't even looking at – evidently he didn't see the whole tweet. I'm not saying I'm for Trump and his tweets, my Lord, no. But, I mean, you just – pressed him and that's how he was and no i don't agree with it at all i don't agree with his vote well and i, I you know i'm not offended but i i guess uh <laughs> i guess i could be because he pretty much called me a liar uh well, he said you the, twisted his words with his yeah no the tweet. the tweet very I, I don't have it in front of me i was frantically pawing through my paper here but the tweet very obviously says go go back to those places try this stuff out and then come back and show us how it works um, that's Absolutely. not the same like as go back and we never want to see you again. Yes, it is. I mean, it, it's not the same. You're correct. And I've read the tweet and I um, totally disagree with him. I think he is walking a tightrope on this. 
Well, and, and, and thank you, Jan. I appreciate the call. I, 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 a lot of people have said to me, Jack, those words, that part of it. OK, I get it. OK, but um, are you telling me that everything else we've talked about this hour about the exceptionalism of this country and the need to resist the siren song of socialism. You, th- you want to throw all that aside because he said, go back, try it out, and then come back here? I mean, th- that to me is taking, that's cherry picking out of a couple of paragraphs worth of comments. And um, it's not racist. No race is mentioned. No one's name is even mentioned. And, I, you know, if, if you want to say, Jack, I could tweet better than Trump or I could write his tweets better than him, that's a different conversation. But I think most people are going to know where he was going with that. Uh, and they have felt that way a long time and they've wanted somebody to say it. Charles is on the radio. Charles, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jack. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. After listening to this rant by uh, uh, Congressman Hurd, he, he's done. He is, he is not a... Uh, conservative. I agree with you what you said earlier. I, he, he's shown so many times that he's gone against the president, and he's too goody-goody friends with Beto O'Rourke, and I think it's time for him to step aside. Well, That's I think he... My yeah, no, I That's understand. My I understand. And, and, you know, to a point, it's good to be... Uh, it's good to have an open hand to the other side, or to say, hey, I can work... W-, when there's a chance to work with somebody... Uh, like the other day, Ted Cruz worked on some piece of legislation with AOC. I'm not against that. I, I, you don't have to go out of your way to show me that you're one thing or another. Um, but I think in, in this case, what I think Congressman Hurd is, is convinced himself of, or his people have, or his polling has, or whatever, is he's convinced himself that the reason he won that race was because lots and lots of Democrats uh, like him and are voting for him. Um, his problem is a lot of Republicans do not like him and are not going to vote for him next year. That's, that's I think, the problem he's made for himself. He's gone out of his way to make that problem for himself. He didn't have that problem. He created uh, that problem. And, um, you know, of all people in Congress, the reason I think Will Hurd knows better is because he was in the CIA and he served not only overseas— but he served in some of the worst places, some of the places that are most illustrative of the need for American exceptionalism. I want him to be on the front line. I want him to be in the lead calling this stuff out, saying, hey, I know more than most people that we never want to go down that road. And he started to say some of that with us today, but I think he totally blocks that out or or wipes that out with the yes vote on the resolution. What do you think?